Let us welcome back to the program Kentucky Republican Congressman Thomas Massey. Joining me now to explain his plan. Uh, Congressman, it is clearly Kentucky night. It's Kennedy <laughs> night. And uh, happy to have you back. Hey, thanks for having me, Kennedy. Uh, you know, my bill's only one sentence long, 10 words, if you will. So uh, I'm trying to get other congressmen here in the habit of reading bills, so I thought I'd keep it short. <laughs> It, it says that the Department of Education shall terminate on December 31st, 2018. Now, the reason I dropped this bill in the hopper last week was I had a lot of uh, liberals calling me up, telling me to stop Betsy DeVos. And first of all, we had to give them a civics lesson. I'm in the U.S. House of Representatives, unlike my colleague, Senator Rand Paul. And so I don't get a vote on Betsy DeVos. So they said, do anything you can to stop her. So the only, you know, alternative I could think of was to introduce a bill to get rid of her job. So that's what I did while they were voting on her. Uh, my biggest concern is what is Betsy DeVos going to do for money when and the Department of Education no longer exists and she's out of a job. Uh, no, not really, but I, I want to read the, the text. The Department of Education shall terminate December 31st, 2018, and you have several co-sponsors. It's not like you're some mad scientist uh, in the basement of the Rayburn building. You've got Representative Justin Amash from Michigan, uh, Andy Biggs from Arizona, Jason Chaffetz from Utah, Matt Getz from uh, Florida, Jody Heiss, Walter Jones, Raul Labrador, all uh, Repu yeah, Republican uh, representatives who have signed on. What are the chances that you will actually get this passed and we can finally abolish an entire department of the federal government? Well, you know, one of those co-sponsors you mentioned is my chairman in the Oversight Committee. Jason Chaffetz is chairman of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Maybe we could get a hearing on this bill and get things rolling. I'd love to have teachers there. You know, most of the teachers and principals I've talked to are actually in favor of this bill because what the bill does is it eliminates the bureaucracy. The 4,500 employees that are making an average of $105,000 a year coming up with ideas to tell our teachers back in Kentucky how and what they should teach. Yeah. Well, our teachers don't really appreciate that huge bureaucracy. And so all the states could flow, all the money could flow back to the states without the strings attached. That's absolutely right. And, and you bring up a really good point. It's about the teachers. Uh, it's about the students. It's about the learning. And for me, what the DeVos confirmation hearings came down to was the state versus parents. And these yes. leftists, these progressives, these socialists, these communists, they want as much control over young minds and old minds, they don't care, they don't discriminate, as they possibly can. And they want to use the federal government as a tool to shape the way people learn and, and are educated in this country, and I think that's flat out wrong. Well, you know, they've been for centralized big government until they're not in control of the centralized big government. So what I've been asking them on the phones when they call in is, really, do you want Trump and his appointees to be making decisions for your teachers and principals back in your district? I mean, you, it's a great chance to turn this conversation around. And I think, you know, they're starting to learn that big government isn't all it's cracked up to yeah, be. Yeah, isn't that funny how that, that tide sort of shifts and, and the pendulum swings in the opposite direction and all of a sudden statists are learning about federalism? Well, um, it's a great chance. This is a great opportunity, especially when they're opposing Betsy DeVos. Now, some people have asked me, do you think Betsy DeVos su supports your bill? And my answer is, if she doesn't, she's not qualified to do the job she's doing, which <laughs> is to give the power back to the states. I'm, right. hoping, I'm hoping that she will do that in the two years she has remaining in that position before we eliminate yeah. it. Yeah, when the, when the legislation passes and the That's Department right. of Education is no more, you, you, I'm sure she'll do a great job cleaning up. You know what I think scares people is that Donald Trump is the first president since Ronald Reagan who would actually sign this bill. Congressman Massey, thank you for everything always, and uh, thanks for coming on tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Kennedy. Very good.